Mm -hmm. Let your eyes adjust and let the images become sharper. Where do you feel that you are? It's very, so bright. I'm trying to, it's just like in a white room, but it's so bright. Do you feel you have a body? I think so. Allow yourself to integrate more fully into this space and use all of your senses. I want you to connect very deeply now, very deeply. If you look down at your feet, tell me what your feet look like. Got some sandals on. Wonderful. Tell me about them. I press crossing on my feet. They're leather. Does your very, body. very brown skinned. Very good. Like darker than what I am now. Does your body feel male or female? Look at your legs. Mm. Muscular. Mm. Can you tell me what you're wearing? I can't really describe it. I got long hair and I'm male. Mm -hmm. Try to describe your clothes. Mm. Imagine you had a, a magic mirror in front of you and you can see yourself now. Tell me what you see. I haven't got a top on. Mm -hmm. but I've got a bow. Very good. Strapped across me. Tell me about the bow. It had a light brown finish. Wonderful. I want you to look around you now. Describe the scenery. There's a bonfire. Mm. 
That's why it's bright. Mm. A few people are gathered around. Sat down in front of the fire. Lovely. Why do you feel you're here? What are you doing here today? I've been out to gather some stuff. Very good. Let's make our way to the fire. Let's go there and see who else is there. Are there many of you at the fire? At least 15 people. Very good. Tell me what they look like. They look like you. Yes. I want you to imagine one of them is calling your name. What name can you hear? <sighs> what do they call you? Uh, I'm Brielle. Very good. I want you to connect with one, one of those men and ask him where you are. I'm back in my village. Very good. And what have you been gathering and brought back to the village? It's looking in my bag now. Very good. Got some roots mm -hmm. and some leaves. Very good. Tell me more about the roots and the leaves. What do you use them for? I'm not sure. You need to take them to somebody. Or do you use them for yourself? There's a, in, on top of the bonfire, there's a cauldron, a pot. And I was supposed to put those in there. Okay. Should we do that? I think you should put the roots and the leaves in the cauldron. Tell me when you've done that. I've done it. And what happens next? I got a stick. Mm. And mixing it in there. Tell me more. And I let it boil. 
So let's let it boil and tell me what you do now with the cauldron. I put it in this big cup. Mm. What and does the cup? The... Sorry. What does the cup look like? It's made of wood. Wonderful. What happens next? So I pour the boiled thing in there. And then I drank from it. And what happens? And then I pass it around for everyone to drink. Lovely. And how does it make you feel? Does it have any effect on your body? It was for cleansing. Wonderful. And do you feel better for drinking this? Yes. Are there women and children drinking or is it just men? The children are all asleep. Okay. There are women. Are you connected to any of these women? One of them I'm very drawn to. Let's go over to her. Let's find out more. Is she your wife? She's very beautiful. I think she is my partner. Very good. Do you recognize those eyes as you look into them? Yes. Is that somebody you know in this lifetime? I'm not sure. What happens next in this scene? So everyone has had their drink. Now we started playing drums. Wonderful. Tell me more, what are you doing now? Are you playing drums? I'm playing a drum. And there are a few of us playing the drum. Is that dancing? The women have gone up, got up and started mm -hmm. dancing. Let's try and find out what this ceremony 
is for, is it just for cleansing or is there something else happening? What's that? A dance of gratitude. Lovely. There was a bounty harvest. Not harvest, sorry. A bounty hunt. Wonderful. So everyone's happy. Yes. In a moment, we're going to close this scene. Close this scene. And as I count backwards from three to one, we're going to travel through a tunnel of time, travel through time and space to another important day in the lifetime of this man that we are viewing. As I count backwards from three to one, you will be there. Three, traveling through time. Two, almost there. And one, be there now, allowing the images to flow up from your soul as you orientate yourself in this new place within this timeline and tell me what you see. I can see the sea. Very good. Describe the scene. Why are you at the sea? What are you doing there today? I'm not sure yet. Is there anyone with you? I'm on my own. Mm. Is the sea very far from where you're standing? I'm in a little boat. Very good. Tell me about what that boat looks like. It's made of It's made of wood mm -hmm. and then it's a bit balanced with bamboo on the sides. Does it have oars? What is an oar? It's a stick with a paddle. You uh, use to go forward and back and turn. Yes, I've got I've got my paddle. Very good. And where are you going? Mm. Have a look around the boat. Do you have anything with you? I 
got some food and my clothes. And I'm going to another island. Mm. Is it far? I'm nearly there. Good. Let's be there now. Let's be at the other island. See yourself arriving there. And tell me what you see. There's lots of shade from the trees. Lovely. I'm setting myself up. And why have you come to this island? To be by myself. So there's no one else on this island. Have a look around. Why have you come to be by yourself? Are you sad? No, I'm not sad at all. Good. Tell me what happens next. Hmm. What were you doing? I have to be my, by myself. Why? For a few days at least. Okay. Do you know why? Access all of your feelings and knowing. See if you get a sense of why you need to be here on this island for a few days. For solitude. Is this something that you chose or you were told to do? It was more of a need to be by myself, to ponder on something. Okay. Let's close this scene. Close this scene. And let's move to another important day in the life that we are viewing of this man. And as I count backwards from three to one, you will be there. Three, traveling through time. Two, almost there. And one, be there now. And orientate yourself in this new place. Connect very deeply. And tell me what you see or experience.
Where are you now? I'm in like a city. Mm, very good. Another old kind of city. Mm. Describe it to me. What do the buildings look like? They're made of like bright, no, light colored bricks. Are they very big? Mm, not so big. About two or three stories the most. Good. What else can you see? Are there lots of people? It's warm. Mm. There are a few people about, yes. What are you wearing today? Take a look down at your body. Got a long skirt. Very good. You can look at Connect very deeply. What do you imagine you're doing in the city? Why are you here? I'm buying some food. Tell me more about that. There's some bread and cheese and milk. Lovely. And what do you do next once you've bought the food? Going back to my home. How do you travel back? Just walking. Okay. Is it far to walk? Not. No, I live within the city. Okay. What do you look like? Are you still the man we saw at the beginning? No. No, tell me, who are you? Imagine that magic mirror and you're standing in front of it. What do you look like? Olive skin. My hair is covered with a veil. Oh. Got long, dark hair. Let's head back to your home. As I count from three to one, you'll be there. 
three, two, almost there, and one. Be at your home. Tell me what you, you see. The fire has already been set up. Ready for my cooking. Lovely. And who set the fire up? My son. How many children do you have? I've got two already. My feel there's one in my womb. Lovely. And are you married? No. Not anymore. And what are we doing in this house today apart from cooking? Is something else happening? Helping my children set up the place. Tidying it up. I would like you to ask your children, what is your name? My son is called Peter. Lovely. And the other one is called Remember. That's okay. We're going to close this scene now. Close this scene. And in a moment, we'll go into another important day in the lifetime of this woman that we need to see today. We're going to travel through the tunnel of time. And as I count backwards from three to one, you will be there. Three, traveling through time. Two, almost there. And one, be there now. As you connect very deeply with this scene. Tell me more about what you see.
insieme. Is it dark? Can we shine some light onto this scene? Allow it to become lighter and brighter and clearer and connect very deeply use all of your senses and tell me what you feel I just don't see anything anymore okay Let's try going to the very last day in the lifetime of the person we have been with today. And as I count backwards from three to one, I'm going to move into the very last day, you will not feel any physical sensations no physical sensations at all. You can view it as if it were a movie. I'll count backwards from three to one and you will be there. Three, traveling there now. Two, and one. Be there now. I want you to condense time and move to the point in time where you take your last breath and move out of the body. And as you look back down at your body, tell me what you see. Feel yourself moving up and out of the body and look back down at yourself. Can you see your body? Why was I burnt? Okay. You will feel no physical sensations here. You're viewing it as if it were happening to someone else. Tell me what you see. What's happening? I see myself screaming. Okay. I'm being burnt. Access all of your knowing and tell me why. What have you done? Why have they done this to you? I was helping people. Let's travel back a little bit to just before you were burnt and let's find out what happened. Let's travel back now to the day that we need to see to understand why you're being burnt. 
three, traveling there now, two, almost there, and one, be there now, be there on the day, tell me what's happening. I have all these herbs mm -hmm. in my kitchen. Tell me about those. I use them to help people. Yes. What happens next? A lot of them are sick. Mm. So I give them this herbs to help them. Yes. How do you cook these herbs? that on the fire you were building? Yes, on the fire. I mix different ones for different things. Wonderful. So what happens to you? Someone obviously doesn't want you to help people. No, and they've reported me. Mm. And what happens next? Mm. You'll feel no physical pain sensations, what do they do? I got into my house. Yeah. They took me away. What happens to your children? They were crying. Mm. Do we need to heal that aspect of yourself today? It's been burnt. Burn didn't really matter. What mattered was my kids being separated from them. Yes. To the children that you left need healing. Let's connect with those children today and gather them all together. And what I'd like for you to do is take them into that beautiful garden where we went to at the beginning of the session and I want you to sit them on that little bench 
What would you like to say to them? You are now safe. Beautiful. 